It's Christian Aid Week and we're here at the National Fishing Heritage Centre in Grimsby for the opening of the Fishing for a Future exhibition which has been organised by Judy Perry here who works for Christian Aid's East Midlands team. Now Judy, could you tell us um, what this exhibition is all about and what you're hoping to achieve from it? Well, you'd think it would be just all about fish, but actually the main theme is empowerment. It's all about the Christian Aid Week story this year. There's one that's in BAP and we're focusing on Mo Albert because it's to do with fishing. And we thought it's a really nice link with Grimsby being a fishing community and the Mo Albert fishing community. So it's all about how Christian Aid and the partner, the Methodist Church of Sierra Leone, have come together and helped this community get themselves out of poverty with a new boat and smoking oven. And it's just a really nice, positive story that I think it's good to show people and show them what their money actually does do. If we can establish that connection between people in two countries uh, supporting the same industry and showing the people of Grimsby the benefits that aid brings in the form of this new vessel and new fishing techniques, new nets uh, and then new smoking techniques, I, I think, you know, it gives aid a purpose. To make that real connection between a fishing community in Africa in Sierra Leone and then a fishing community, our fishing community here, it's perfect because I think sometimes it's just that actual personal connection that people need to make to sort of become aware of, of what Christian Aid does and how they can get involved with it and how they can support it. It's important to support a charity like Christian Aid. They send out help, support, advice to the whole world. It isn't limited purely to Christian countries. It goes out to the whole of the world. Whatever donation you give, however small, it will, when it's all put together, make a difference. If we want to say we love people, it's about actually empowering them. It's not being nice to them or, or just saying, oh gosh, isn't life difficult for you? We can do something. It's actually saying you belong. And one of the ways in which we believe we belong is going right back to that foundation story of the Jewish and Christian faith that God, in making us in his image, empowered us with love. And if we want to reflect his image, then we have to empower people through our love. That's the only test for it. Just being nice to people isn't the same. And Christian aid, to me, is right behind that idea of empowering people.